Hello everybody, my name is Python and welcome back to another episode of my Terraria Let's Play. I hope you guys are having a fantastic day. Won the 20, 27th or 28th episode, I can't count. Brilliant! Well done, Python. And uh, yeah, like I say, I hope you guys are having a fantastic day. Today, my friends, we are starting off with handing in a fishing quest to get ourselves yet another fisherman's pocket guide. We are looking for the endless absorbent sponge. That's what I'm looking for more than anything in the world. That is, that is just what I want. So in today's episode, my friends, as you can probably tell, look at this. We've got 800 holy arrows. We have quite a significant amount of uh, unicorn horns as well. Uh, when I was doing all that fishing in the hallowed biome, there was quite a lot of unicorns that came up and tried to kick my butt. But I kicked their butts and I got a bunch of their horns. So basically what that means is I can make myself quite a significant amount of uh, holy arrows, which is uh, very nice. Yeah, 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 yeah. So today, my friends, I'd really like to go ahead and make a start on the mechanical bosses. That is why, my friends, mechanical bosses, I think it's about that freaking time. What have we got? We've got the mechanical eye, mechanical skull. Uh, we need the mechanical worm. Oh, that's right. So we've got the guide as well. So one of the achievements, one of the only achievements I actually currently don't have, if we head down the bottom here, is uh, fire a rainbow gun while riding on a unicorn. Uh, and, of course, we've got fire and just obtain a rainbow rod in general. So, wait. These two could be done really, really quickly. And then we've got 104 more fishing quests to get this one done. And then we've literally 100%ed the game. Which is something I have not done in a very, very long time. 100%ing a game. Honestly, it's been such a long time. I think the last game I 100%ed was, like, Crash Bandicoot 1 or something like that. <laughs> oh, dear. Anyways. So, uh, let's pop into here real quick. I want to see... Aha, there we go. Rainbow rod. So, oh, you need souls of sight. So if we take down the twins, then we could actually go ahead and make this and give it a go, right? Ooh, so take crystal shards, got that, got that, got that, got that, and then souls of sight. That's not that difficult. That's not that difficult. Okay, uh, right, well, what have we got in terms of ranged weapons, huh? We've got ourselves the Molten Fury, the Daedalus Stormbow, and of course, the Toxicarp. I feel like we should be able to take down the twins. Hmm. I really, really do feel like we should be able to take down the twins. We have quite a nice amount of summons in here as well, which is really, really nice. Um, but uh, yeah, guys, I I think the end goal for today's episode is going to be to do some achievement hunting. Because, yeah, it's going to be awesome. So, I think it goes without saying what we're going to need to do is do a whole bunch of preparation. We don't actually have a proper arena, my friends. We really, really don't. Hmm. So I don't really want to use the beach town as any kind of arena. I feel like it would be a better idea if we put the arena somewhere else. Uh, probably not in the sky because I really dislike the non-grav. I'm tempted to put it over here next to the dungeon. We've got a nice flat area here. We could probably make a platform going from this little uh, slope here to this slope over here. I feel like we should be able to get something decent going at the very least. So guys, I'm going to go ahead and grab myself some materials. We're going to place that a whole ton of platforms and it's going to be a fantastic time my friends so what have we got there's the bewitching table uh we've got the alchemy table i feel like we should use the safe as a portable potion creating thing i've done it before and i don't see a reason why i shouldn't do it again and then we've still got the defender's forge and indeed the money trough for additional storage which is you know really really awesome so yeah i mean i'm kind of down with that i don't know about you guys yeah, buddy. All right, so, like I say, we're going to get some uh, materials prepped, and we are going to give this thing a go, my friends. Oh, yeah. Let's do it. Oh, hello there, casual, normal mimic. Just, uh, you know, dropping in on us while I'm trying to make a freaking platform. Yeah, a bunch of butts. You know, that's actually the second one I've taken down today, which is just being, like, casually on the surface. I don't know what's going on. Or is it because we've got these background walls here? Huh. I don't know. Anyways, everything's looking good so far, my friends. We are using these team platforms because um, why not, basically. And uh, yeah, we should be able to get ourselves a fairly okay looking arena. Uh, so there we go. That's one little platform done. Now, if I was to go ahead and make another one, we could probably make another platform uh, a little bit higher up. If we just head over this way real quick and we start placing it sort of from here, maybe. Maybe we use the yellow ones because they kind of look golden. <laughs> I mean, why not, right? <clears throat> there we go. And as a result, we should have ourselves a fairly okay looking arena. And then all we need to do is place down all of the materials and then we can actually do this thing. 
Yes. It's going to be a good time, my friends. It's going to be a good time. I love taking me down some bosses. Oh, yeah. Okay, so let's get the rest of these place down. It's nearly night time, my friends. So we should have plenty of time to do this. Let's do it. What? A corruption key? What the hell, dude? I'm just freaking finishing off this goddamn thing and I just picked myself up one of those bad boys? Oh, hell yeah, dude. I am never going to complain about that. That is incredible. Right. No, 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 no. Please, please, sirs, all leave me alone. I don't, I don't, I don't want you here. No. Stop. Cease and desist. Stop. All right, Kyle. Cool, 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 cool. Right, now then, uh, let's place down all of these bad boys. Uh, I think I'm going to start running out of time if I'm not careful here, my friends. So I think what I'm going to go and do is uh, place all of these bad boys down. And I think we might just go ahead and just do this thing anyway. I mean, I feel like we should be able to, right? I feel like we should be able to do this. I don't know. I'd be surprised if we failed. But, I don't know. It is only normal mode, but, you know, it doesn't mean that they can't still do an absolute ton of damage to us at times. So, real quick, let me just try and quick stack a whole bunch of stuff. I can't believe I got a corruption key, though. That's, uh... <laughs> that's really kind of amazing, actually. I'm kind of surprised about that one. Right, so... Uh, we've got the heart lanterns. We need some buff potions real quick. Just just the basics. Just the basics. We've got regen, swiftness. Uh, what else have we got? Archery. Yes, that would be kind of useful. Uh, that. Heart reach. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, and do we have the ability to make prismite? I mean, I, I would assume we have the... Yes. Yes, we can. Okay, it's cool, 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 cool. Oh, yeah. You love to see it, my friends. You love to see it. Okay, and the druids. Cool. That seems like a very, very nice little buff set right there, my friends. Okay, cool. All right, we're going to give this thing a go, ladies and gentlemen. And hopefully, we should be able to do this. Let's just go. Let's just freaking go. Hello. Come on, then. Let's see what we can do. Obviously, what we usually do is prioritize the green eye because it is by far the more pain in the butt out of the two. Does the most amount of damage, I feel. Oh, you love to see it, my friends. You love to see it. The destruction is real. The destruction is so real. Oh, my goodness me. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. Oh, no, the red one's already turned. Oh, crap. Oh, man. Oh, mate. I messed that one up, didn't I? All right. Any second now. There we go. Red eye is almost dead. Um, yeah, this this is an absolute cakewalk, apparently. I mean, I knew that it would be, like, you know, fairly easy, but I didn't realize it would be quite this easy, you know? Although, well, then again, as per what I've said all the time, the freaking Daedalus Stormbow is probably... One of the best <laughs> early hard mode weapons there are. Oh my gosh. Right, well, uh, I almost feel like I over-prepared for that. I really do honestly feel like I over-prepared for that. Jesus. Okay. Um, I mean, I mean, um, we could always try some other things, right? If I have the time and I have the resources. What else have we got? We've got Skeletron Prime, haven't we? We've got a Skelly Prime Summoner. I mean, pff, shall we? Shall we, guys? Shall we? Shall we just do it? Shall we just do all three? I feel like all three would be a nice idea. So, um, yeah, we, we're going to do all three, ladies and gentlemen. All right. Boop. There we go. All right, next. Who wants to go? You want to go, son? All right, I'm ready. 20, what? 28,000 health is the amount we need to take down. Yeah. This is, um... <laughs> oh. I always feel like this weapon should be nerfed in some way, but at the same time, I really don't want it to be nerfed because it is just an absolute bomb of a weapon. It is insane. It really, really is, man. 16k, 15k, 14k. A little bit of health is needed. There we go. Most of his arms are down at this point. <laughs> oh. And in the meantime, I can't even hear myself think. This is very, very loud. Holy Jesus. Come on. Come on. 2,000, 1,000, and dead. Right, now then. Next. Right, we need ourselves some rotten chunks, right? So all I need to do is head over in this direction. I believe we've got some in here, right? We should have ourselves like an absolute ton of them. Uh, rotten chunks, rotten chunks, rotten chunks. Come on, I've got a time limit here. Uh, where are they? Where are they? Vertebrae, I think that'll do the job as well. Where's the rotten chunks? Hang on a minute. I'm blind. I'm blind. Hang on, I'm panicking here a little bit. I'm panicking a little bit. Hang on, we need to calm ourselves down. Calm yourself down there, Pythonator. 
Come on, buddy. Everything's fine. Everything's fine. You'll be able to take down the destroyer in literally less than a minute. It will be completely fine. Oh, vertebrae. Yeah, buddy. I'll take all of that. All right. Boop. All right. So if we head down here, we should be able to make ourselves the worm. Uh, yep, there it is. Oh, you love to see it, my friends. You love to see it. Okay, right. Um, we're just going to do this thing. We're going to make sure we're way away from our freaking NPCs because more often than not, I wind up killing every single one of them with this freaking bad boy. All right. Buff it up. And ladies and gentlemen, once again, we are we are ready to go. Just got to be careful of where the head is. Yep. Yep. Oh, I wish I had a DPS meter. 40,000, 39, 34, 33, 30, 27, 26, 21, 20, 19, 17, 14. This is just stupid, dude. All right. And... Yeah. 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 Just, just, yeah. Honestly, this weapon... <laughs> is unbelievable. I think it goes without saying, though. We're going to try and take down the mech forces with some, like, slightly different loadouts as well. Just so we can give some other weapons a go. But honestly, man, just to get it done, the data of Stormbow is just incredible. It really, really is. It is just incredible. I can't put into words just how amazing this weapon is. It is just astounding. <laughs> wow. Okay. Um, wow. Wow. So we're just taking down all three mech bosses in one night, which means uh, I think we're on tier two, Older One's army now. We could try and take it on and get the ogre and maybe actually start getting some weapons, right? That'd be kind of cool. I'm kind of down to try that, actually. But at the same time, I really also want to try and get some other stuff. Hey, we've got a destroyer mask. Hey, that's pretty cool. All right, boop. There we go. I am now the destroyer, ladies and gentlemen. I'm the destroyer of the destroyer. That's just how we roll, boys. Oh yeah. Okay, cool. Right, everybody, everybody dead. Go on, everybody die. Go away. Thank you. Right, well then. Um, now that that's all done, oh, we can actually get on with our lives, huh? <laughs> right, I'm going to organize my inventory. We're going to make ourselves that freaking rainbow rock, guys. We're going to do this thing. All right, ladies and gentlemen, so I believe we've got everything that we need. We just need to go to the Mithril Anvil, and we should be able to do this thing. We should get one achievement straight away just for getting it. Yeah! Ah! You love to see it. Look at that. We got a new achievement, my, my friends. And finally, oh, it's a damaged one. Well, that's a bit crummy, isn't it? We'll have to rectify that real quick. If we could get Mythical, I'm pretty sure this thing would do more than 100 damage, which is kind of amazing. Uh, oh, yeah, look at that. <laughs> oh, my gosh. 110. If I was to put on my mage set, it should do even more. Boop, boop, boop. Uh, what is it now? 124. God damn. Holy lord. Oh, my word. I wonder how effective this weapon actually is, though. All right, here we go, my friends. Wait, what? Rainbow rod. And we're riding a unicorn. Or, oh, is it the other weapon that we need? Is it from the, uh, is it from the biome chest? I think it might be. Rainbow gun. Ah. Yeah, rainbow gun, not rainbow rod. There is a difference between the two. Aha. Awesome. Okay, cool. So, we have ourselves a mage titanium set. We have ourselves, wait. Yeah, a mage titanium set. A ranged and a mantite set. So maybe we make ourselves a melee hallowed set. What do you guys think? I feel like that might be a nice idea. We could also make ourselves the Excalibur while we're at it. Uh, because, you know, that would be useful for the true Excalibur. And therefore the Knight's Edge. Uh, Knight's Edge? No. What am I even talking about? The Terror Blade. Yeah, that. That's what we want. Right, let's get you as well. And let's get you as well. And there we go, ladies and gentlemen. Hey, the pickaxe axe. Beautiful stuff, my friends. Beautiful stuff indeed. I'm very, very happy with that. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so that means we can retire the Sorted Shark and this as well. And, uh, yeah, guys. Everything's looking fan-freaking-tastic. Now, I did say I wanted to try and take down the Tier 2 Old Ones army, right? So... I mean, I'm kind of still down to do that. So, how's about we grab some stuffs and we give it a go? Alrighty, guys. So, here we are. And I guess while we're doing this, we can jump into the common question of today's video, which comes from the Amiibo Farmer who asks, What is your favorite armor by looks? That would probably have to be the Spectre armor with the Spectre hood. I absolutely love it. I think it looks absolutely fantastic. Right, now then. Oh, 
Yep, we've got plenty of stuff to do. But uh, yeah, I mean, there's plenty of really, really nice looking uh, armors in this game. But honestly, I would have to say that the that the Spectre armor looks best. It just looks awesome. It really, really does. So, these guys have gone from having 30 health up to 170. Hmm. I've got a slight feeling that we might not actually be able to complete this because I don't have any um, freaking sentries or anything like that yet. Yeah, look at this. It's taking a lot longer now. Oh, yeah. Taking a lot longer, my friends. All right. Oh, my word. Yeah. <laughs> I don't think we're going to be able to do this whole thing. But we'll try and see just how far we can get. But, guys, I'm going to press that question off to you guys. What is your favorite armor by looks? Leave your responses in the comments area below. We're very interested to know what you guys have to say. But, uh, yeah, everything's looking good, guys. Everything's looking good. So that's wave one done. Fairly painless. Fairly painless. But, you know, we're probably going to wind up having a lot of issues later down the line. So, yeah. I mean, I do have myself an iron skin potion just randomly. But, you yeah, know, it probably isn't going to do too much for us. But you never know, my friends. You never know. All right. I mean, we could use a Daedalus Stormbow if we really wanted to. But I don't know. I kind of like what we've got going on here. The Celestial Cuffs might come in useful. Oh, God, the Cobbles. I forgot about those guys. Oh, a bunch of bucks. Hey, come on, then. You want to go? Yeah. No, Cobbles. No. You're not blowing this bad boy up. No, 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 no. All right, come on. Oh, yeah, those guys do a pretty significant amount of damage, actually. Freaking suicide bombers. Jeez, dude. Come on. 40%, 50%. Shadow Flame Hextile still doing a very, very nice job. I feel like the problems are going to start when we start getting the flying dudes coming. Now, I believe we still only have five waves to do, but that's not to say that, you know, it's going to be still, like, extremely easy. It probably won't. It's probably going to be kind of difficult. I mean, as you can see, these guys are getting about two-thirds of the distance towards the freaking central point, right? We've got to be careful. We've got to be careful. Wave complete. There we go. Yeah, look at this. Some of these guys are getting very, very close. Don't you dare. No. No, no. No, no, no. no. Stop. 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 I'm losing a lot of health here. Hang on. There we go. Well, that's those guys done. And we've got these guys very, very close by as well. Yeah, okay. We've actually got a bit of a game here, my friends. We've actually got a bit of a game going on here. Okay, cool. Right, that's that all done. You see, I really wish the Rainbow Rod was buffed. I feel like it should pierce enemies. I really honestly do believe it should be able to pierce enemies. Right, here's where I think this is going to come into its own. Well, I don't know. It seems to do a fairly cool amount of damage, which is very, very nice. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Look at that. Yeah. I love the noises these guys make. Hey, stop. 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 No. Ah. Oh, okay. Wave three. We're starting to struggle, guys. Oh, gosh. Uh, uh, there's so many dudes. There's so many guys. Oh, I'm struggling. I'm, I'm dead. I'm dead. Oh, the, if, if I don't die, then the freaking center is going to die. Oh my gosh! <laughs> oh my gosh! Ah, stop! <laughs> this is impossible, dude! Oh my goodness me! Wait, this thing's got 3,000 health, not just... Ah! Oh my god! This is insane! I'm gonna die! I'm gonna die! Any second... Oh, yeah, there we go, ladies and gentlemen. And that, as they say is that this thing is getting absolutely hounded yep there we go somehow we got to wave four i'm actually kind of surprised about that Ooh, the darkness is real Ooh. oh and it's back to normal well gosh freaking dumb that was a bit of a fail wasn't it the mirage fish underground hollow all right we'll quickly do that and then end the episode aha mirage fish okay cool so I got these other things as well called Chaos Fish. I feel like I've never seen these before. I might need to see what they actually make. Uh, but in the meantime, we can actually go ahead and hand this thing in. Sonar potions. Hey, that's pretty cool. I'm down with that. Right, now then, we've got bass and we've got all sorts of other stuff on us. Good lord. 
We've got a lot of stuff on us, actually. Good, good God. <laughs> okay, cool. So, uh, let's quickly see what these chaos fish can do. I don't actually know. Uh, oh, teleportation potions. Ah, I did not know that. And now I do. I'm very happy for knowing that now. <laughs> Fantastic. All right, guys. Well, that's going to wrap it up for today's episode. Thank you guys very much for watching. If you guys have enjoyed today's episode, please do be sure to head down below the video. Drop a like rating. It would mean a lot to me if you did. Hit the subscribe button. Ding that bell as well if you don't want to miss out on future content, my friends. But that is going to wrap it up for today. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you guys have a fantastic rest of your day. And I'll see you guys in the next episode.